Hello everyone, warm wishes, and I hope you're all doing well. I am Invader, TXR podcast host and content creator, and welcome to another one of my videos. For this video, I'll be diving into the topic of Piranha Game Studios and the possibility of them bringing a new Mech Warrior or Mech Assault game to the Xbox ecosystem. I've wanted to do a video on this for a while, but I've been slowly collecting information on the matter. It's been a while, a long while actually, since we've had one of the mech name games on Xbox since the original Xbox days. Those games were some of the most memorable moments I had with the original Xbox. However, within the past year, there's been some really interesting comments made by key people, and with E3 about to kick into high gear, there's been lots of rumors being spread around, so let's dive right into things, shall we? So back in December 2018, during a Twitch stream, Piranha Game Studio developers were answering questions, and one in particular popped up that caught a lot of people's attention about if MechWarrior 5 would be coming over to consoles, and the devs responded by saying, I think we're interested in consoles. There's a lot going on that I can't really say. I'm going to Seattle on Wednesday to visit Microsoft, and this isn't the first conversation on it. It's a PC game first and foremost. It isn't going to change to suit Xbox. It'll be Xbox only due to license issues. Microsoft owns a license. You look at consoles today, some of the fear in what that meant has gone away. They announced mouse and keyboard for Xbox games. You can imagine that it'd be the same game, but front end would change to support a controller. We're lasered focused on shipping in September, but if some stuff lines up, then it's interesting. No for sure, but it could work well. So this is interesting as there's been a lot of conversations between both Piranha Studios and Microsoft. There wouldn't be talk unless there's some attempt to bring the property back onto Xbox and the ecosystem. Also the mention of mouse and keyboard on the console as that makes it easier for games like MechWarrior transition onto the console space. Recently Microsoft allowed for mouse and keyboard support to be used on the Xbox console and a few games have been taking advantage of it. So, definitely some very interesting hints and takeaways here to say the least. Now, looking back to early January of 2018, Industry Insider Clobria leaked a bunch of information regarding what Microsoft Game Studios is working on. He's got a pretty good track record, and he's been right on previous announcements. Our squirrely friend said that, oh, and I think I'm sure Phil likes mechs stating that Xbox Game Studios' Phil Spencer really likes mech games. I will say though that in his information leak, Clobriel did get some things wrong, as Forza Horizon 4 was not in the land of the rising sun, Japan, but it turned out to be in the United Kingdom. But he did correct himself on that information, as that backend stuff can be difficult to read and just make sense out of. But overall, that statement about Phil seems to be true as Phil has made comments and alluded to things regarding mech games and mech assault. Previously, Phil Spencer has responded to fans over Twitter about the game. Back in January of 2017, a fan asked him if he thought mech assault will ever make a return onto new systems, and he replied with, I do. Now, that's a pretty clear statement of interest considering he could have shrugged it off and not responded at all. But later he followed up stating that, the mech world is just too rich to not come back to gaming, at some point in my opinion. Now I've made previous videos on the matter, detailing my own thoughts at the time, and as you can imagine it caught my attention, but still felt like something was very far away. Like we weren't going to hear any news on a mech game anytime soon. However, slowly but surely, there's been leaks and information trickling out that would suggest that something mech related is coming from Xbox Game Studios. But of course, there's always the skeptic in me, and there's been fallout previously between Piranha Game Studios and Microsoft. Back in late 2011, Piranha Studios posted up a large developer blog detailing the turmoil of developing a MechWarrior console reboot. However, Microsoft did not want to go forward with the game. Microsoft owns the rights to the franchise and Piranha wanted to go multi-platform with the proposed game. 
Microsoft didn't want it to go onto Sony's PlayStation 3, and the game was, well, dead in the water. And with a recession going on at that time, they didn't want to take a gamble on certain franchises. As lots of game companies at the time were clamping down on game development, tightening budgets, and just sticking to larger properties that they knew that they could make money. That and the fact that Microsoft has a bad track record of treating their IP. While they have a lot of memorable properties the fans want to bring back, <coughs> Banjo-Kazooie, <coughs> Crimson Skies, they just sit on them and don't do anything with them aside from, well, the tried, trusted, and true stable franchises that they have. But, as of late, things have changed. Microsoft Game Studios is actually on a buying spree for games and studios. And you have to remember, Obsidian Entertainment, which was recently purchased by Microsoft, had a very negative experience with them. Microsoft had cancelled an RPG late in development for the Xbox One, and it had a negative impact on Obsidian at first, but then they slowly patched things up. So, from what I take on that is that anything is possible if both sides truly want to make amends and work things out. And since I bring that up, there's the definite possibility of Piranha Game Studios actually being purchased and acquired by Xbox Game Studios. And really, a purchase makes sense in a lot of ways. From what I can tell, Piranha Studios has about 65 personnel listed. I can see the studio wanting to have extra funding, the studio size is ideal for Microsoft for expanding the studio based on recent purchases. As with recent Microsoft purchases, they'd be inclined to boost the talent and increase the work productivity. That and the fact that there's not really that many Western studios that have experience in mech games. A studio like Piranha could be lucrative for Microsoft's future ambitions and a huge positive for Xbox Game Pass moving forward. Another thing to take into account is location. Microsoft and their studio buying spree have created talent hubs, Southern California definitely being one. Vancouver is a hotbed for game studios in Canada, along with the likes of Montreal and Toronto. The Coalition is based in Vancouver, caretakers of the highly lucrative Gears of War franchise. And funny enough, both the Coalition and Piranha Game Studios are located in downtown Vancouver, just a short drive from each other. Now, I could see a scenario that Microsoft would like to have a talent pool to draw from based in Vancouver, and logistically, it makes a lot of sense to me. Another thing to keep in mind is that Relic Entertainment, makers of the upcoming Age of Empires 4, are also based in downtown Vancouver and are a short drive from the previously stated studios. They're currently owned by Sega, but have been linked to many rumors of Microsoft purchasing them. Just something to be aware of, as that's popped up in a lot of the rumor mills, and if Microsoft does plan on creating focused talent hubs, that would be a very ideal location. Now further adding to the rumor train, there's even more recent leaks. A verified user on Reset Era, going by the name of Leo Karian, gave details on information he had heard about Xbox's E3 2019 conference. Going through the list, he lists off new studio acquisitions and a new mech game being developed by Studio Piranha Bytes. Take all that with a grain of salt, guys, but it's interesting that a verified user would even make such claims. I think what happened was that this person got the names mixed up with Piranha Game Studio. That would probably be a very easy mistake to make, considering the names are very similar. Piranha Bytes, coincidentally, was recently bought up by THQ Nordic, so that takes them off the board completely. To me, a new Mech Warrior or a Mech Assault is in a lot of ways a showcase of technology. From explosions to destruction, I mean really in a sense it's the perfect candidate for cloud power games. This generation alone we've seen games take advantage of destruction technologies, and it's something that could really bring another Mech Warrior or Mech Assault game shine and come to life. I'd really love for them to bring back the franchises bring it back to the glory days of mech combat, the memorable destruction, multiple mechs to choose from, customization, having an engaging campaign storyline with competent multiplayer, 
I remember playing Megasol 2 with Lone Wolf and having these really memorable boss fights, fights against cool bosses with really heart-pounding music. I loved it when there was Getting Away with Murder by Papa Roach just blaring, or Corrin's Right Now on during the final boss fight. Just some really memorable moments there. And of course, lots and lots of vehicular mayhem. I think that when you look at all this talk at face value, and the whole timing of things, the most likely and plausible scenario would be a port of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries to the Xbox One. I'd be pretty happy with that to be honest. But of course, my biggest want would be a Mech Assault 3, or just a complete reboot of Mech Assault. The timing of things is also interesting as MechWarrior 5's Mercenaries currently has a release date scheduled for September 5th of this year. It's plausible to see the PC game release, and then maybe a few months later a console port, but we'll have to wait and see how things unfold. For the record guys, this is just speculation on my part and doing some research. I would love to see another Mech Assault or Mech Warrior game come to the Xbox platforms. I do also think that Piranha Games would be a good fit for Xbox Game Studios going forward. Just don't take what I'm saying as gospel. So what do you guys think of this? Do you think we'll see a new Mech Warrior or Mech Assault on Xbox consoles or ecosystem in the near future? Also, do you think we'll see Microsoft purchase Piranha Game Studios? Definitely let me know in the comments below. And if you happen to enjoy this video, then please feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing for future content. Thanks for watching guys, and Invader out!